Hello, dear student. <coughs> Good afternoon. Yesterday we had seen the casting, die casting, hot chamber casting, cold chamber die casting, and casting furnaces. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss about the casting defects. So, these are the undesirable results <coughs> from the casting. Those are not. We are in need to produce a defect. So we are going to avoid it by, by, by proper following the procedures and following the some rules. So what do you mean by <coughs> casting defect? Casting defect is nothing but an irregularity in the metal casting that is undesirable. So some defects can be tolerated and some are repaired. Otherwise, all casting defects are eliminated by following some procedures and some rules. So, an unsuccessful casting results in considerable trouble and loss of time, loss of labor cost, and like that. Some casting casting defects are large in nature, so products can be rejected because of casting defect. Those are not repaired or reworked. Those are rejected because of the casting defect. So casting defect can be avoided simply by observing the procedures which are governed by certain fundamental rules and principles. Casting failure should be an exception and not the rule. Casting failures should be an exception. It can be repaired, it can be reworked, it can be avoided. So, there are various types of casting defects. First one is blow holes, pin holes, seat, core seat or cope and drag box seat, then short runs, hot tears, cold shirts, etc. So, these are the casting defects. These are the various undesirable defects. So, one by one we are going to discuss so major defects are because of gas, because of this in case metal property, molding material defects, some sand materials are there, pouring metal defects, the temperature of the pouring metal or the properties of the pouring metal that also alter the casting defects and mold seats. There is a seat or misalignment of the molding box. <coughs> So, gas defects means strapping of the hydrogen or carbon monoxide gas in the mold cavity or in the molten metal. So, that will create a blow holes, porosity or pin holes. So, the, these defects occur due to the dissolution of hydrogen gas. Gas entrapped during heating or during pouring of the molten metal inside the mold cavity. So these are the various effects. If you look these, these are the casting products. This is the flash lights. These are the flash lights. So this will happen after casting. This is the mismatch. This above portion, this this one, above portion is carried out in the coke box and this is the below portion is carried out in the drag box. So there is a misalignment in this field. So this that's why it is a mismatch. Now if you observe this hole shut, mis run, blow holes and gas porosity. So this cold shut means here. Then this is the mis run means no metal is filled in this portion. Blow holes means this is the blow holes and this is the gas holes or inclusion of the sand particles in the material. So these are the various casting products and these are the various uh, casting defects. This is <coughs> the shrinkage cavity. This cavity will shrink. This will also shrink. 
some fish portion and some sweet fish. Then porosity. Porosity means these parts will remain porous in this portion. Then sinkage or sink. This portion, the rubber in that, this will sink, shrinkage. Then corner shrinkage. The other is the metal is sink. The corner is sinking. The other is crack. After casting, you will have a, this particular crack. After casting. So this is the crack formation. So these are the various distortions or various defects after casting. So this is the scar, this is the casted product and some portion is left. In this portion no metal is filled up. So this is called as a scare <coughs> or scar. Due to improper permeability of sand or due to improper venting. Venting means you are not carrying out the proper ramming or you are not escaping the gases. Venting is not carried out properly. So this uh, shallow blow, shallow blow comes into picture after casting. So it is generally occurs on flat surface, whereas blow occurs on a convex casting surface. A blister is a shallow blow like a scar with thin layer of metal covering it. So we will observe in this case. If this is the <coughs> shrinkage, metal is shrink in this case. This is also shrinkage. This is shrinkage. So this is the casket product having casting defects. This is also blow holes. These are the porosity. So these are the casket product and casting defects here. Now this is the corner surface. On the this is the blow casting defects. This is the flat surface. On this it is a scar defect. And this is flat surface, but this is defect is called as blister. And this convex surface on this you are obtaining scab. This is wash or drop is also called as or swelling in there. This is swelling. And this is misrun, means you are pouring the molten metal, metal reaches up to this. Rather than to reach at this end, it reaches to up to this portion. So this is called as a misrun. Cold shut is that the metal is not reaching to this portion. And this one. This is called as a cold shut. Means Previously, it is solidified at this end. When molten metal reaches to this portion, it will solidify at this end. And this portion is not filled up with the molten metal. So, such type of defect is called as a cold shut. Now, mixture and cold shut. <coughs> so, in this diagram, this is called as a mixture. Means you are pouring the molten metal to this fluid. It fills the mold cavity, but it not reaches to the same. It reaches up to this and solidifies the same. So, such type of defect is called as a mixture. Means when the metal is unable to fill the mold cavity completely. Completely, the mold cavity is not filled with the molten metal. Use some unfilled cavities. It is called as mixture defect. So, this is the portion is not filled up with the molten cavity, molten metal. So this will remain, means molten metal solidify at the same and it will not, this cavity is not filled with the molten metal. So such type of defect is called as a mixture. And <coughs> the, then this cold shut, cold shut means this portion will indicate the cold shut. So when two metal streams meeting in the mold cavity, do not fuse together properly causing discontinuity or weak spot inside casting. It is called as cold shut. Now look this diagram. Molten metal comes through this portion. It follows the portion. It also follows this part. So it will come from this end. It will also come from this side. When these two reaches to each other, they will not diffuse. The molten metal from this part and from this part those are not diffused or those are not, are not mixed up 
play each other. So some cavity will remain that is called as a pole shut. So discontinuity or weak spot inside casting it is called as <coughs> pole shut. When two metal strips meeting in the mold cavity do not fuse together properly, causing discontinuity or weak spot inside casting, it is called as cold shut. So some such type of defects are called as a cold shut. Shrinkage cavity. Shrinkage cavity because of the metal property, molten metal property. Shrinkage cavity is a void on the surface of the casting, caused mainly due to uncontrolled and haphazard solidification of the metal. <coughs> the molten metal coming from this screw passing through weight and filling this mold cavity. But due to solidification of the metal, some portion will left and this will called as shrinkage cavity. Means after filling this, this, this portion will shrink and it will void is there, some open space is remain there, it is an open space, this is called as a shrinkage defect. Shrinkage defect may be external, this is external or this may be internal. So these are the <coughs> shrinkage cavity. Now blow holes, blow holes means some this, this portion, this portion is the blow holes, this is also the blow holes. This is the casting product, this is the casting procedure, this is the screw pouring basin from where you are pouring the molten metal when it solidifies. So some holes you, you are going to see the holes inside the casting. So that is called as the blow holes. So balloon shaped gas cavities caused by release of cold gases during pouring are known as blow holes. The blow holes are caused because the gases are entrapped during solidification. There are many reasons why this flow comes into picture. So, <coughs> what are the causes? Ramming is too hard. You are ramming the sand, you are pressing the sand by applying more pressure. Cores are not sufficiently baked. Cores are also not sufficiently baked. The moisture content in the pores that will also excess moisture content in the molding sand, <coughs> low permeability of the molding sand, means it will not escape in the whatever the moisture or gases contained in the sand, those are entrapped. Excessive thickness of sand grains, <coughs> rusted chill, chaplets, and inserts, these are the various tools used in casting process. Presence of gas producing ingredients. Some ingredients are also responsible to produce the gases during solidification of molten metal. So that way show are the glow holes inside the casting after solidification. So what are the remedies? <coughs> Carry out the proper making of pores. Control the moisture content in the pore sand and molding sand. Use of rust free tablets insert and free chips. Provides adequate venting so that you can escape the gases from the molding sand and ramming the mold lesser hard. So these are the main remedies so that you can avoid the casting, the flow holes casting. <coughs> then porosity. Porosity means this is also just like the some porous portions are the casting. You are getting this porous portion. So this is called as the porosity. These are in the form of some cavities caused due to gas entrapment. They will fall into this. Gases are also entrapped. You are observing the flow holes. And similarly, small small holes are there, or small different uh, rectangular, square, some irregular holes are there. So those are called as the pores. So what are the causes? High pouring temperature, gas dissolved in the metal, <coughs> molten metal, less flux is used, and venting is not carried out properly, molten metal not pour, degas properly, slow some solidification. Then high moisture contains low permeability of the molding sand. These are also same as that of the blow holes. So what are the remedies? Regulate the pouring temperature of the molten metal. <coughs> Control metal composition. The properties of the that metal should be controlled. Increase 
flux. This flux is also responsible to remove the gases. Ensure effective degas. Modify heating and rising. Reduce moisture content and increase permeability of the molding materials. So these are the various remedies. Then next one is the hot tears or hot cracks. If you order here, after casting, you are creating such type of tears, hot tears. This is also the hot tears. Here in this case, hot tears. So <coughs> these are the hot tears. So hot tears are irregular internal or external cracks in the casting. So this is called as the hot tears. So what are the causes? Lack of collapsibility of core and mold sand, hard running of molding sand, and faulty casting design. The casting design is faulty. That's why that shows us the hot tears or hot cracks after casting process. So what are the remedies? Carry out the softer, softer ramming, spray the uh, sand particles properly. <coughs> improve casting design and improve collapsibility. So these are the various remedies to be followed when you are able to avoid the hot tears as a casting. So metal penetrations is molten metal flows between the sand particles. Penetration occurs when the molten metal flows between the sand particles in the mold. The metal series starts to flowing in the sand particles. Instead of flowing in the cavity, it also flows in the, in the sand particles. So this portion is the metal penetration. So after pouring the molten metal, some molten metal goes <coughs> in the sand particles. So that is called as the metal penetration. After solidification, you will have such type of product. So that product is having some irregular shapes. So what are the causes? Low strength of molding sand, large size of molding sand, grain size of molding sand is large, high permeability of sand. High permeability means more gases are escaped. Those are also responsible to penetrate the metal of the casting. So what are the remedies? Use of fine grain sand and with low permeability. Permeability means to escape the property of the sand to escape the gases from it. Appropriate ramming. Proper ramming means must be carried out so that you can avoid this defect, metal penetration. Sand is also inclusion. Sand inclusion is also another casting defects. So, pin holes. <coughs> small, small pin holes are just like a pin, the holes are seen after the casting. So this is occurred because of moisture content, because of impact of the hydrogen and carbon monoxide gas in the metal during solidification, alloy not being property D gas and sand containing moisture and gas producing ingredients. Sand will contain moisture, gas uh, producing ingredients, so those are responsible for the pin mode as a casting difference. So what are type of what what the precautions you can take. So, <coughs> reduce the moisture content, increase the permeability of the sand particles, employ good melting and flexing transfer practices, improve a rapid rate of solidification. So, when you carry out this procedure, you are able to avoid the, this casting defects that is called as a pain phase. So, formation of many small gas cavities at or slightly below the surface of casting is called as the pin holes. So these pin holes are comes into picture because of the gas entrapment or because of the moisture content in the sand particles. So this can be avoided if you follow the this particular procedure. <coughs> then swelling. Swelling, this, this portion is called as the swelling. This will happen because of the ramming, insufficient ramming. Swelling means for enlargement of mold cavity by localized metal pressure. Some pressure, a pouring mountain metal, some sand particles acquire this. Some metal will goes through this and it will swell. So this portion will be called as a swelling. Swell. 
So this this will happen because of soft ramming, low strength mold and core and mold not be supported properly. So this can be avoided by sand should be rammed evenly and properly in the strength of mold and core. So this is the swell as a casting defect. Then drop. This is the drop. Drop means the projection on drag part of casting due to fall of its foot part. So this is the drop. This is also a casting defect. Low green strength of molding sand. Low mold hardness. Low strength and insufficient reinforcement of sand projection in the core. So what are the remedies? <coughs> molding sand should have sufficient strength. Provide adequate reinforcement to sand projection and cope by using nails and daggers. So ramming should not be too soft. So this is casting defect that is called as the drop. Drag tails, these are also one casting defects or buckles. <coughs> so it's a type of defects if you observe after solidification of casted product, then this is called as the rat tail. So some precautions must be taken so that you can avoid these casting defects. So these are the values 40 years as a casting defect. These are the all the categories of the casting defects. We have seen low holes, scab, then blister, then gas holes, beam holes, porosity, some drop, then drawers also there, <coughs> nerd also there. Then some wash is also there, just like swelling, rat tails, then scab, then buckles, then penetration, metal penetration, then some swellings, swell, then mis runs. Means this molten metal is not reaching up to the full cavity, it will not fill all the mold cavity completely. Some portion of cavity will be made, that is called as the mis run. When one molten metal passes of one molten metal and another molten same molten metal passes in different when they are not meeting each other they are not diffused or they are not mixed to each other some portion will that that is called as a cold shell means before reaching to this portion it will solidify that is said so that is the cold shell for tears there are some crackle crack formations is there because of the <coughs> solidification temperature Sinkage, we are to see the sinkage in this portion. Why is there some space will left? So, from this portion, the metal will sink. Then, sip is there, cope and drag box, misalignment in the cope and drag box. So, this portion you are casting in a cope box, this is you are casting in a drag box. Those are not aligned properly. So, misalignment is there, that is called as a moon sink. And when this this is the mold cavity and this is the core, sand core. So there is a no alignment in between these two, and that is called as a core sheet. So these are the various casting defects. So <coughs> these are the various literature about the blow holes. You just read it out. Blow holes are spherical, flattened, or elongated cavities fitted in the casting. They are formed due to the following reasons rapid evolution of gas from mold, lack of porosity in the mold box, excess moisture content in the sand material, high drying of sand. Molds, how you can avoid this? What are the remedies? Molds and pores are properly wilted, avoid hard drying, proper amount of moisture in the sand that could be controlled, proper gauge size of the sand. So, blow holes can be avoided by if you follow the procedure. Then, seep, external or <coughs> misalignment. So, poor displacement is there, misalignment of coke and dry walls, worn out or burn out of clamping pins, misalignment of coke also of pattern. So, these all causes the seep. That is the defect. So what are the remedies you can follow so that you can avoid these particular casting defects? So repair replacement of the oil beams, proper alignment of pattern, proper alignment of boxes, then repair clamping beams. Hot tears, hot tears are crack formations on the surface of the casting. So this will, what are the causes? <coughs> 
protected projects lack of compatibility of poor high temperature of plastic meter, incorrectly of the dating system, lack of fillets and corner media. What are the remedies? Properly design the casting, all lead system, improved compatibility, proper solidification, and proper pore intervention. Short run. Short run means the cavity is not completely filled. Completely filled. That is incompletely filled. Means all the pore cavity is not filled with the mountain metal. That is the short run. Insufficient. That we are also calling it as the misrun. Insufficient metal supply. Whatever the metal required. That if you are not using in proper quantity, then that will cause the short run or miss run. Lack of fluidity <coughs> in molten metal. Lack of fluidity in molten metal. So, fluidity in molten metal means it will not go in properly. So, they place will very well run in fluidity of molten metal. Molten metal temperature is low. Before reaching up to its proper destination, it will solidify, it will not reach up to the particular that portion, particular location. So that will form the mission or short run, faulty heating design. So what are the remedies? At the pouring temperature, at the rate of pouring, modify the heating system. So these are all procedure required to avoid the casting defect, that is mission or short run. Pin holes, small hole less than 2 mm diameter, which are seen on the surface of the casting. What are the causes? High pouring temperature, gas dissolved in the molten metal, gases are not removed properly from the molten metal, and sand is high moisture content. So, these are responsible for blow holes, pin holes, and porosity. So, what are the remedies? Maintain the proper pouring temperature, increase flux. Increase flux proportions so that we have to remove the gases from the mountain metal. Reduce moisture, reducing moisture content in the sand and if effective heating system. <coughs> so this is all about the casting defects. So this is in today's lecture we have seen the various casting defects. So what do you mean by casting defects? That is undesired results, undesirable results we are getting after solidification of molten metal. So, some casting defects are large in nature, more casting defects are there, so works are rejected, work piece after casting that is rejected, otherwise it is repaired. But if you follow some procedures, then you can able to avoid the casting defects. We have seen many parts after casting, some blow holes are there, some hot air, some cracks formation are there, some cavity sinking is there, some misrun is there. You are not able to fill the mold cavity completely, that is misrun. So many casting defects we have seen. So this is all about the casting defects. Okay, thank you.